So one thing I've been thinking about over the last few days or so, I want to increase the quality of my videos. Unfortunately, my budget is quite small, in fact, non-existent at this point. So after doing numerous big projects that are pretty complex and take me a week to do, I decided I'm gonna do something simple that's gonna take one day to make. In fact, I think I can do this and edit the video and have it uploaded by this evening. I'm gonna try to make a lidded box out of this rough turned piece that I made quite some time ago. Regular watchers may remember this from the cherry platter video I did where I filled it with epoxy. I have some scraps of walnut left over and I think this could make a good lid for this. Could make a cute little box. This has a tenon on it for a chuck but I think we're gonna just sand it flat and glue it to a waste block because I don't want to have those jaws right here. I want to be able to get in here a little easier so I don't waste too much of this wood. Okay, so I had a little bit of rot right here that I needed to stabilize with some CA glue. So it's soaking in there right now. The biggest problem with me shooting in here is light. The fact that there's not enough, especially in that corner where the lathe is. I have some natural light from some windows here. If it wasn't so bloody hot outside, I could open the doors and that would give me lots of natural light, which is wonderful. But I did buy these workshop lights several weeks ago. Now they're nice and bright, but they cast some pretty harsh shadows. Oh, look, look at that. Just bought these and it's falling out of here. Oh well, it's just a little sticker anyway. Eventually, I would like to have more lights in the ceiling. Right now, I have the equivalent of two 100 watt light bulbs up there. But again, not throwing much light at all, really. I would also like to eventually get a clip-on microphone. The microphone in the camera does just fine. Unfortunately, it picks up a lot of other noises around as well. Often there's cicadas outside and I have the doors open. You can hear bugs and birds and any cars that are driving by. So I am aware of ways that I can improve my videos. Just don't have the resources for it right now. Well, all right, I think this didn't turn out too bad for my first one. I don't really have a practical way to polish up this epoxy to look really like glass, like I've seen a lot of people do on the internet. Yeah, it's got a few problems, but here's my first one. I just wanted to experiment this to see if I could do it. Plus, this piece of wood was not uh, really all that stable. It had some rot in it that I filled with some CA glue, and this bark inclusion came out when I was doing the outside edge of this room. And this was just a piece of scrap walnut that I had lying around. I didn't do a very good job sanding the edge because it was so thin already. I didn't want to take any more material off that. Anyway, had some fun and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. See you again soon in Kami's Garage.